Hey guys, it's Nick and today we are creating this flip fluid face brick smashing animation that will basically look like this. Alrighty guys, so it's fairly simple uh, Houdini like project, but uh, there are a couple of tricks I really want to describe or share with you today and uh, if you find this video helpful as always I'm really grateful for every like or subscribe or comment down below it, it really helps my channel to grow and uh, all these uh, heap files that are fairly accessible to my opinion all of them uh, is your support uh, that allow me to uh, discover new features in Houdini or Cinema 4D or even uh, like film all these videos and share the project files. It's how I can dedicate more time to actually share all these tips and tricks and projects with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone uh, supporting uh, this channel and uh, creation of new tutorials. Now let's open Houdini and check what we've got here. So let's do a quick breakdown of uh, how I did this flip fluid smashing face uh, animation and uh, I will go through each node. Um, also I will update uh, this heap file so uh, the path to models are correct and you can just open it and play with it. Alright, so let's start with uh, our stage geometry it's uh, yeah Napoleon. Um, it's pretty dense mesh, but uh, we don't we don't need any adjustments for uh, this simulation. So what I have initially done. So you see, uh, it's from the 3D. The uh, you know uh, Google just John Kunz. He's awesome in uh, also tutoring or educating. Uh, people in uh, in Houdini and he has a bunch of resources uh, on his website so uh, Napoleon is flipped upside upside down so we should fix that with our transform node after that we should reverse our vertices and after that I also added normals so uh, that's basically it for uh, our stage here um, yeah, I just here in transform, nothing. I just flip, flip the, um, his head. <laughs> All right. Uh, now I clicked on here in the volume. Nope. Uh, where is my flip? So tiny screen. All right. So I clicked this flip fluid from object while selecting stage M. And uh, I've got these three nodes, so all the magic happens in AutoAdopt network. So let's go inside. Um, you can see that nothing's too fancy here, just a few nodes. Uh, this flip fluid object, I purposely set particle separation to uh, 0.2 right now. I've used 0.8, I think. Let's let's check. No, I, I think I've used 0 0.008. So extremely dense mesh. Yeah. All right. I'll turn simulation off uh, for this moment, just so we don't need to uh, wait tremendous amounts of time. This project, by the way, is really, really, really heavy, but you may see how much detail I, I've got. All right, so uh, here in Flip Fluid Object, what's, what I've done, actually. So I ticked closed boundaries, basically this, this big boundary cube is fixed. Uh, then initial data. I uh, set the SOP path to our stage here. Uh, then in physical tab, I uh, set viscosity to five, uh, just so we don't have any like small splashes, like if we if it 
would be pure water. Um, yeah, so you can play with this with this parameter. Uh, in the flip solver, so I increase sub steps to four, min sub steps and max sub steps four. Um, I uh, learned that from the Antagma tutorial, and these sub steps pretty much work for any kind of detailed particle simulation, fluid simulation. In the particle motion tab, I uh, added ID attribute. This is for timing, uh, so we can get this cool looking slow motion effect. And also in the particle motion receding tab, I turned off recede particles because we, we don't need that. We just have our um, state build with the liquid or filled with liquid and we don't need any any receding all right then i added static object um, static object is our brick i've checked use object transform and create active object after that i just um, play static solver and wired it into the merge node I always tell that because I've, I've literally wasted, uh, I don't know, two or three hours back in uh, some time when I plugged uh, in the merge node, I plugged the flip solver to be the first one and static solver to be the second one. Uh, you don't, don't want to do that. Static solver should be always the first one and after that go the flip solver. After that I disabled the gravity, actually we don't need that so let's delete it. And uh, yep that's the output so now we should go into the stasia fluid so here um, is basically we are meshing our particles and exporting alembics here um, in the import stasia you will have this dop import dop io node um, i uh, baked the cache uh, there will be a bunch of uh, nodes, just delete them. You just need to like use this import stage um, node and then I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, if you will be doing this from scratch from on your own, um, I'm, I don't think that I should cover all the process from scratch because it's just a breakdown of my already done project. Uh, but yeah, the compressed cache is basically what we are um, doing here uh, the main node that will save us uh, a lot of time so uh, yeah I'm I'm baking all the particle dynamics so uh, yeah blah 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 uh, here will be write files and you just click save to disk and uh, yeah now it's load from disk it's loading uh, cache data our time node so uh, what I've done here I've just tell the frame 20 it's uh, playing back normal speed and uh, after frame 20 it's let's just wait yeah so the speed is 0.1 and we have this cool splash all right so um, after that I added particle fluid surface node and uh, yeah here we have this particle separation again we need to use the same um, particle separation value as we use for our simulation in our dotnet and uh, then I think um, here adaptivity should be zero yeah uh, filtering I checked dilate to be 2 uh, smooth to be 4 erode I think it was 2 by default so uh, yeah let's just quickly spend some time to appreciate how it looks uh, meshed so this is how it looks meshed and uh, we need to add normals And then, um, this is also from Antagmas tutorial, uh, I've added this attribute blur, so we don't have any uh, weird reflections um, going on. 
and then you just uh, export um, yeah so uh, also uh, check that I've cached 60 frames but I am able to export 120 frames and uh, also for the brick here is the object merge node I've added retime absolutely the same retime that I used here and uh, I've export yep the, the brick um, I uh, love to export um, like if, if I don't have crazy um, amount of objects in the scene I just export to Alembics it's easier to me to work with them uh, in uh, Cinema 4D and yeah I exported that I've uh, transferred that to Cinema 4D I've uh, added two area lights and I added a subsurface scattering or specular um, material added a bit of roughness and uh, that's how I get got that like jelly looking bluish uh, tone uh, of the of the, this stadium thanks a lot for watching and if you find this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my instagram all the updates and uh, like progress um, between the tutorials uh, is posted there and uh, also if you want you can support this channel by purchasing this project file it will allow me to dedicate more time to uh, create these tutorials create um, courses share assets and uh, all that stuff so thanks a lot for watching and see you next time bye